What's up guys? Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. Some time ago I unfortunately forgot my iPhone screen passcode, so I kept trying to unlock it. And finally, my iPhone is unavailable. When I click on the erase iPhone in the bottom right corner, it will show the erase screen, but I need to enter the Apple ID password to erase it. So today let's discuss how to solve the issue if you forgot. Method 1. Reset iPhone using iTunes or Finder, Apple official. After some research, I found out that iTunes or Finder can reset my phone. So, connect your iPhone to a computer with iTunes installed. Then put your iPhone into recovery mode. For iPhone 8 or later, volume up, volume down, then press and hold the side button. Keep holding until you see the connected computer icon. Then click restore here. Please note if Find My is on, you cannot restore your iPhone using iTunes. Method 2. Reset iPhone using another Apple device. Prepare an Apple device. Here I am using another iPhone. Open Find My. Find the device you want to reset, then click Erase this device. Method 3. Also, if you want to find a more secure method, Tenorshare 4 U key is a good choice. Connect your iPhone to your computer or Mac. For data safety, remember to back up your phone before we start. Launch 4U key and select the Start to Remove option. Tap Next, 4U key will show you a guide to put your iPhone in recovery mode. Let's go! Volume up, volume down, then press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. Well, now you can download the matching firmware. After the download is complete, click Start Remove. 4U key will start to remove your iPhone screen lock. It will take about 10 minutes, be patient. When it's done, you will enter the activation lock interface. You can only unlock this iPhone with the Apple ID and password that was used to set it up. But you obviously don't know the password. Don't worry. Method 4. Reset iPhone without iCloud password. If your iPhone is running iOS 16.5, you can bypass the activation lock screen by using 4Me Key. Don't forget to check out if your device is supported or not by 4Me Key. Launch 4Me Key, then click Start to remove. Agree with this disclaimer and click Start. Next, 4Me Key will put your iPhone into recovery mode to prevent file system corruption. Now, let's follow the instruction and enter DFU mode. Click Start here. Let's go! Okay, now just wait for the jailbreak process to complete. Click Start. Now you need to enter DFU mode again to start the remove process. Well done. Now you can see my phone is back to life. That's great. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your iPhone. See you.